All right, Terry. Good evening, everyone. It's Jay Dalywal and Terry Newsom. Welcome to our second CapEx training on the Super Patch CapEx program that is rocking and rolling right now on radio waves and computer screens and the internet as we speak. What does CapEx stand for? It stands for Crowd Advertising Platform X, X for Exponential, Extreme, you name it, it is unlimited. Or as we discovered this earlier this evening, you could also call it the Customer Acquisition Program X, <laughs> right, Terry? Um, and what this is, ladies and gentlemen, is a revolutionary new way for our company to reach the masses, to help the field scale and realize the ultimate success uh, in their business. And before I continue, I want to share with you a couple of things in terms of the genesis of the CapEx program, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> in any business, uh, the lifeblood of that business is customer revenue, is a strong, reliable, scalable customer base that loves the product, that loves the brand. I pretty sure that every single person on this call tonight has a favorite brand at home, whether it's our soap, our detergent, our shampoo, our Kleenex, our towels, our underwear, whatever that is. We buy the same brand, our ketchup, whatever that is, right? We, we buy the same brand in and out year after year, month after month, sometimes week after week. And it's our brand loyalty to that because of our experience with it. We trust it. We like it. We use it. We drive value from it. And if you take a look at some of the largest brands in the world, the everyday household brands in the world, they've done a phenomenal job, sometimes over years and decades, building their brand loyalty. And what that comes from is messaging to the end consumer, messaging to the end user. And in network marketing, that's been a big missing piece, right? Network marketing relies on us to reach out to our friends, reach out to our warm markets, uh, and with social media, certainly that's expanded. But the larger mass media advertising till today, right now, has pretty much been the purview of super brands, Fortune 500 companies that have the budgets of tens of millions and hundreds of millions of dollars to build brand uh, loyalty, to brand, build brand awareness, to generate sales. And so when they market and advertise on TV, on the radio, on the internet, their goal predominantly is to create curiosity and brand awareness and demand for the product or the service that they're selling at the retailer or on Amazon or wherever the heck that product's being sold. Now, we all know in network marketing, we rely on the field to do that, right? And so, the, so all of us work together to bring the product and the messaging of the Super Patch Company to the world through our social media, through meetings, through our friends, our networks, whatever that is. <clears throat> but what we miss out on is that mass media opportunity, right? And there's a reason for that. The reason for that is for a long time, anytime a company has gone out there and, and tried to market the product, there's been some challenges. Number one um, is, is the value of the product. Can it be sold as a consumer good? Number two how can there be a system that's cooperative and collaborative and supportive of the work that the larger field is doing? Meaning, is it in a competitive landscape or is it in a cooperative landscape, right? That's the key. And every instance that's happened before, pretty much, it's been a competitive landscape because the field feels that the company is competing as the field, the company feels that the field isn't doing enough or reaching out to enough people. And there's always been this, you know, adversarial positioning, unfortunately. So we've been thinking about how do we overcome that? How do we give the field and the company an opportunity to grow together, to raise the bar, to get to the millions, if not billions of people that deserve our products? And what we've come up with is the CapEx program, the crowd advertising platform. So what we're going to do now is we're going to participate in the landscape where <clears throat> Fortune 500 companies, big, big companies market. So an example of that is Times Square Billboard, an example of that is mass media radio, an example of that is mass media TV, 
internet, you name it, where the people are listening, watching, reading. And that's where we're going to market and brand our story and brand our product. But how are we going to do it collaboratively? And how do we all win? That's the purpose of tonight's call. So the CapEx initiative is real simple in philosophy. The Soup Patch Company and the field, all of you on the call, we're going to come together and we're going to share the marketing costs of media advertising to acquire new customers. Right? And when the, so because this is the key, the cost of acquisition in today's world is very, very expensive. Media costs are through the roof. The algorithms online keep changing. TV is more expensive than it's ever been. Radio is getting more expensive. Radio had a dip, but radio's back. Serious radios back. I mean, there's a lot of people listening to their favorite radio stations, to their favorite uh, <clears throat> satellite stations, the favorite podcasts. And so the cost of marketing has gone up and up and up and up. And you might have known there's some celebrity podcasters that they're, they've sold their podcast rights for hundreds of millions of dollars. Why? Because the number of listeners and the power and the reach that they have. That's the power of it, Right. So we want to leverage that. We want to get our message and our product to all those people, but it's very expensive. And the cost of advertising is so expensive that to actually acquire a customer in traditional mass media is actually more expensive than any revenue you can probably generate from it, right? Because at the end of the day, our product's only $60, right? So we know from our testing in the past that, hey, it's going to cost us a little bit more, maybe a lot more than $60 to acquire that customer. So how do we win? What we want to do is we want to acquire those customers collectively. And when they repurchase on that lifetime value, we want to share the future lifetime revenue from that customer. That's the overall premise of the CapEx initiative, right? And what this is going to give us is an unfair advantage in the market, right? It's going to give us a totally unfair advantage in the market because we can do this. <clears throat> we can do this for a lot of reasons. The reason a super patch company can have a CapEx initiative is because of the advantages we have in the marketplace, right? We have some unfair advantages. We have some cheat codes built in to our company, into our product and our price points, right? So what's the first cheat code? The first massive advantage we have is we have a unique product. Nobody else has what we have. Our IP is owned by us. It's not licensed. No one can take it, run away. It's closed distribution. You want to get it, you get it from us. Second massive advantage that we have something for billions and billions of people. So our market reach, our addressable market is billions of people and trillions of potential revenue dollars. That's the total market, right? It's massive. Third advantage, we're compliant in the sense of regulatory requirements. We don't make claims we can't validate. We don't say things that aren't true. Our products are safe. They've been tested. We've got the studies to back up what we say. It's massive, right? In terms of marketing out there, to be on the right side of those things is critical. Number four, our products work. How do we know that? The clinical show that they work, the studies show that they work, but we have thousands and thousands of testimonials of people just like us who use our products and like, you know what? Hey, the products work. This is fantastic. But that's not enough in today's world. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we live in the microwave generation, instant gratification. So we know that our products work quickly, that there isn't, months and months of use to see some negligible improvement. We know that you try our products and very quickly you're going to start realizing the benefits. Well, that's a massive advantage. Advantage number six. That was number five. Number six is we don't need anybody to change their lifestyle. It's patch and go. It doesn't matter about your lifestyle. It doesn't matter how old you are, where you live, your economic condition. It doesn't matter. Our product's going to work for you safely. Okay? We're not going to ask anybody to change their diet. We're not going to ask anybody to change their lifestyle. We're going to ask you how they live. We're going to say, hey, if you'd like the benefits of this patch, try this product, give it a shot. It's so easy. It's so easy, right? So no lifestyle change. And then finally, the advantage we have is our price point. Ladies and gentlemen, before we turn on our website, before we sold one pack of patches, your friend Jay here, we did a massive pricing exercise to find the right price for our product. The right price of the product came at $60 a month for a four-week supply, $60 for four-week supply. This was a massive exercise, a massive survey across different demographics, different locations across North America to come to that price point. That's why we know the price is right. That's why we have, we have hyperblistic growth over the last 18 months is because our price is right. 
It's because of these advantages that we can now introduce a CapEx initiative where we can go to the market and acquire customers. Because ladies and gentlemen, we didn't have the other seven things, this program wouldn't work. Imagine if our price of the product was $150. Imagine if our product worked sometime or you know, there was other super competitive products or there's just the exact same Me Too products on the market that did the same thing at the same price point. We couldn't have the, the conversions. We couldn't have the success and the media efficiency we need to make this program successful, right? Those are the challenges and product efficacy and the studies and the regulatory compliance. We need a check mark, honestly, Zim, we need a check mark beside all seven of those things that I mentioned to you for a CapEx program, call it whatever you want, a customer acquisition program to be successful with mass media. Without it, it won't work. It won't work. And the reason I know this is because I've done the analysis, but number two, I have a guy on the call with me, my dear friend, Terry Newsom, who's done it and tried it with more expensive products that didn't have all check marks and it doesn't yield the results, right, Terry? All seven have to be there. Absolutely, absolutely, Jay. Let me just say this. Uh, we ex still experience moderate success, hundreds of millions of dollars with a co-op program, but we didn't check all the boxes, okay? And you make a valid point about brand awareness, brand loyalty, and retail pull-through. Uh, that's, you know, the lifeblood of any business is to generate and retain customers. So we're going to be able to do this in a massive scale. And because we have all of these um, you know, key points of differentiation in the marketplace. It gives us a market advantage. Uh, I look for this to be truly the most successful customer acquisition program, uh, co-op marketing program, crowd advertising platform type business uh, ever launched in the U.S. Right. And, and the reason it's important, ladies and gentlemen, because you all have customers. You already have native customers, Right. And so when they hear or see an advertisement, it's going to reaffirm their buying decision. Like, you know what? I made the right decision. When somebody says, you know what? Hey, my friend Robert or my friend Susie, you know, they're in the soup patch business. Oh, I bought this REM patch or this paint patch before. And oh, it's on the radio now. It's on the TV now. It reaffirms their buying decision. It makes them feel good about what they did. This is how McDonald's operates. This is how Coca-Cola operates, right? We all know McDonald's and Coca-Cola. So you wonder, why do they have to advertise? Customer retention. Your customers, or even your personal customer retention is going to go through the roof. Your rebuys on your personal customers is going to go through the roof. Your engagement with your team is going to go through the roof. Your engagement and ability to market the company and the opportunity is going to increase exponentially for the simple reason it won't be the first time somebody heard a super patch, Right? Think about it. We all know that when we've worked with different network marketing companies or different opportunities, and it could be a massive company, but they never heard of you. Well, how come if you know it's if it's so great, how come I never heard of you, Terry? Super Patch is so great. How come I don't see you anywhere? That's the credibility. That's the key for the branding and the awareness that we're going to overcome. And it's going to serve more than just customer acquisition. It's going to serve customer retention. And it's going to serve recruiting. And trust me, this program only exists as the fourth leg, as the fourth income, the fourth income stream to our network marketing business. So how's it going to work? Super Patch Company is going to advertise in mass media, direct traffic to call centers and digital shopping carts, right? So what are we going to do? I'm going to invest a lot of money into it. I'm going to do the investment up front. I'm not going to ask you to invest. We're going to do it ourselves. We're going to go out there and put hundreds of thousands of dollars into mass media advertising. And what's going to happen is it's going to generate some initial customer orders, purchases. So people are going to get call centers. They're going to call them. They're going to convert them to orders or landing pages. They're going to convert the visitors to sales. And we're going to pay. The company's going to pay for everything. We're going to pay for the media, the cost of goods, the call center, the credit cards, the shipping, the returns, you name it. We're going to cover everything. The goal and the objective here is to maximize the media spend and maximize the conversion so we can get the most amount of customers for the least amount of spend, okay? That's how we maximize, this is how we win. But we know even if we maximize everything and we tweak every dial, that the cost of acquisition is gonna be more 
than what we actually get because that's just how expensive mass media is, especially this year. This year is an election year. I'm telling you right now, media costs carry are through the roof, but that's okay. And what we've engaged with are the largest and smartest media buyers in the country. They buy billions of dollars of media every year, and they're plugged in to some of the most sophisticated channels. Terry, you want to give an idea of some of the the properties we're going to be advertising on, please? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know we you know we've got a multi-channel approach to this. Uh, but we want to start with radio. Why is that? Because you have the largest reach for the lowest, what's called, uh, you know, CPM, uh, the cost to, for your message to reach the American consuming public. So the beauty of radio, you can change copy, you can test copy, uh, you can, uh, you know, there are several variables that allow us to go out and find out what works best. Then we scale radio and then transition into TV, digital marketing, billboards, those other uh, venues. Uh, but, Jay, the real key is that these media relationships, yeah, I've been doing this a long time, okay? Uh, these re media relationships, um, we have, because they see the value and the potential in the Super Patch Company, because they know the potential market growth and that we can take market share in the wellness industry. Uh, they're super excited. And we've uh, really negotiated hard on your behalf to be able to uh, buy media at the lowest co possible cost. And of course, then be able to acquire customers uh, as low as possible. Yeah. And that's the key, ladies and gentlemen, we want to make this as profitable for everyone all along the way, right? Because the lower our acquisition costs, the more profit in our pocket at the end of the year, right? And that's the key for everybody, especially when we want to acquire hundreds and hundreds of thousands of customers. So that's the plan. That's how the overall execution works. But now let me give you a little bit more detail. So there's some terms we need to come to grips with in part of this program, right? Things like, you know, revenue per customer, cost per acquisition, and uh, token price, okay? So revenue per customer. Revenue per customer that we're going to talk about is the total customer revenue that comes from initial customer purchases as a part of the advertising. And so we take the total revenue from the campaign, we divide it by the number of orders, and we get revenue for customer. So if we start this campaign, we get $12,000 in revenue. We get 200 orders. The revenue per customer is $60. Pretty straightforward. Now, the cost per acquisition, the CPA, is the total cost of sales, how much it costs to get that revenue, divided by the number of orders. So total cost of sales includes media costs, the cost of goods, the call center, the credit card, the shipping, the returns, you name it. And say for this example, the total cost of sales is $17,000. <clears> so we're going to divide that $17,000 by the total number of orders, which is 200. So that gives us a CPA of $85. So it actually costs us $85 to generate that $60 order. Now, this is where the magic happens. This is why we're going to go to a co-op token price. The token price equals the revenue of customer per customer, $60, minus the $85. That's what the token price is going to be. This is the amount of money the company lost in acquiring one customer. Okay? That is what the token price is going to be. Right? Because we know the cost of acquisition is always going to be more than the revenue per customer to start out with. <clears throat> now, multiply this by 100,000 customers. That's $2.5 million shortfall. Multiply by 1,000 customers. That's 25,000. This is why... The average associate can't do it themselves because the cost of media, the cost of acquisition is so expensive. The skill set needed to buy me, to learn new skills, to, to do the email flows, to build the landing pages, to drive the traffic, to measure the media, to quantify the media, to analyze the media. It requires skill sets that are very, very expensive and budgets that are enormous. This is why we're going to spend the money on the media and the advertising and the marketing up front. And we want to bring the token price as low as possible by maximizing those efficiencies. So we absorb all the risk up front, right? We know what the risk is going to be. We'll know it by the end of the day. We're going to know, hey, this is what we put into this thing, and this is what's left over, okay? But these key metrics are what drive the price of the token month to month. So what does this work? So how does this work? It's real simple. The company makes investment in media, spend, radio, TV, digital, billboard, print, and that generates, through call centers and or landing pages, a CapEx customer pool of customers. 
the token is a proportional share of the marketing cost of acquisition. Like we talked about, the token price is a proportional share of the marketing cost. And this is very, very important for you to recognize this. <clears throat> the token price is marketing cost. It's the share of the marketing cost. The funds from the tokens are put back in the media span and the advertising continues as the media budgets replenish. So this becomes a cycle and the pool gets bigger and bigger and bigger. We then market all at the same time we're marketing that pool to generate repurchases and those repurchases generate field commissions. Okay, so let's see how that, oops. So let's see how that works. So the field spends $25 per token and takes all of the 200 tokens from the previous example. This replenishes the $5,000 that was in the shortfall. Because you'll remember, there's $12,000 in revenue. It costs us $17,000 of sales and media costs and everything else for a net loss of $5,000. The $5,000 divided by 200 is equals 25. This $5,000 now is put back into the media spend and the advertising continues as the media budgets replenish and the program continues. And we do this over and over and over and we scale it. Okay, so this is a scalable program. If we know that a certain program, a certain creative is working, we put more money into it. And it grows bigger and bigger. So our goal is to get to a million dollars a week in marketing between radio, TV, and digital, right? That's a lot of money. That the awareness for the brand is going to be national, household level type of stuff, right? And the beauty is... There's billions of dollars of media available. So we're not going to run into saturation, but this is the beauty. So we're starting with our REM patch. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start with the sleep patch. We're going to market that because seven out of 10 Americans need sleep, help sleeping better. So we think it's a pretty good market to go after, right? So no, CB, no CBD, no drugs, no melatonin, sleep like never before. The whole amazing copy is going to go out there. Now, we're going to keep doing that and wrapping that up and acquiring more and more and more and more. we got a lot of customers to get. And, and eventually, we'll hit a saturation point. And when we hit the saturation point, guess what? We have 12 other patches that we can pick from to start the next campaign. So then we can go to our pain patch. And we'll drive that to saturation. And then we've got a stress patch. And then we got our workout patch. And we've got some other patch. So this is unbelievable opportunity for us to scale this thing at a level like never before. And it's only possible because of the seven things we talked about in the beginning. This, ladies and gentlemen, in network marketing is the cheat code. We break all rules with this. There isn't another company in this industry that can do this because they don't have a check mark beside the seven market advantages we have. The product's priced wrong. It doesn't work fast. All those amazing things, Me Too products. This is how we win because we're gonna add another revenue stream to your business. This is above and beyond what we're doing. It's an addition to, right? Never forget that. This is an addition to. We still gotta do everything we gotta do, but this is extra. So <clears throat> let's talk about it. So here we have the CapEx customer pool. We're gonna to market to it with the most sophisticated marketing and email drips and promotions and everything to this pool of customers. And they're gonna generate money for the field so this is how the field wins every capex token gives the token holder a future a share of future reorder revenue from the initial customers all future monthly reorder revenue from capex acquisition is put in a monthly pool the pool of monthly reorder revenue is shared with all token holders so ladies and gentlemen this is what separates us from any other customer acquisition program in the history of customer acquisition programs traditionally Terry, you're gonna have to back me up but traditionally as customers were acquired, they were assigned to different distributors or different associates and different types of things in different companies. And then it would depend on the quality of that customer or that associate's ability to market to that customer to get a reorder, right? But suppose we got simplicity. We've got three customers. we got three associates and everybody gets one. If I gave Terry the one customer that bought over and over again, but Susie and Tommy got two customers that one Tommy's customer didn't buy at all. Susie's customer bought once a year. They'd be pretty, pretty upset with me saying, well, you gave your friend Terry all the good customers, right? Because the cost of that token, the cost of acquisition is shared across all of us is exactly the same. So my philosophy is 
the win has to be the same. We all put it in the same. We all get out the same. So every token is going to be assigned a value every month that's exactly the same. We're going to bring equity to that. Where it's, it's equitable. It's the same. You same amount you put in, everybody gets the same amount when they buy again. Right? So the monthly revenue per, per token and other values will be calculated on a month-to-month -month basis and can vary. So one month, you might have 10% of the customers that buy again. Next month, it might be 15. Next month, it might be 20. It might be 8. It might be 11. It might be 12. It doesn't matter. Whatever volume that is, total revenue gets divided by the total number of tokens held by the field, and that token value gets applied to every token. <clears throat> right? So the monthly revenue per token equals the monthly reorder revenue divided by the number of tokens held by the field. The token will have the following values that will be assessed monthly. Token value, this is like QV, the total monthly reorder revenue, total number of tokens. So every token is going to have a TV, which is equal to QV. So this is going to count toward your qualifications overall. It's going to count toward your, your rank advancements. It's going to count toward all of that. Okay? So, it's not, so that reorder revenue goes toward your monthly qualifications. Think about that for a second. Then there's the retail commissions. For every token you hold personally, whatever token value that's applied that month, you get 25%. Then there's a the token bonus volume. It's like BV, which is 60% of your total QV. It's the exact same thing. It's like selling a patch. Every token the company assigns these values every month, and the comp plan will calculate the payouts based on that. Right, So it's exactly the same way. The more tokens on a member's team, the greater the TBV will count towards payout, and the more token value, which is like QV, will count toward rank advancements and qualifications. Oops, let me go back. <clears throat> Excuse me. So for example, I think there's 10,000 tokens in the field, and the monthly reorder revenue is 120,000. That means the revenue per token, the TV is $12. It's 120,000 divided by 10,000. It's $12. That means approximately 20% of the field bought. Okay. So the retail commission is 25% of the $12. So every token you have in your pocket, you're going to get paid $3 on. That's in your pocket. That's that you own personally. The bonus volume on every token in your organization is going to have a bonus volume, a BV of $7.20. These values apply to every token in the company. So imagine if you got a thousand tokens in your organization, like in your team below you, or a hundred thousand. In this example, everyone would have a seven dollar and twenty cent value of BV applied to that token. That's going to get cal commission calculated on it, depending on where it is and the level that's in, and your rank and how many tokens you hold. It counts toward rank advancement too. So a member's payout will depend on the size and structure of their team, their rank the number of tokens accumulated by them personally and their team, right? This is why this is an add-on to your team. So whether you got a small team and it's growing or a mid-sized team and growing or a big team and growing, this is how we democratize mass media advertising. This is how we bring our products and our brand to the general public and help you reach in and grow a reliable addition to your income right this is the key this is what separates from everything else and i'll tell you this there isn't one single network marketing company that can do this because none of them have those seven check marks of differentiation they don't have it and if they don't have it this won't work because i'll tell you right now if our products if our patches were 150 dollars a month this won't work because you can't convert enough people won't pay that much if our products were Me Too products, you could get our products on Amazon or somewhere else or something was called a Smarty Patch or whatever you want to call it, that there was another VTT product out there <clears throat> that did the same thing that we did and had the studies and was efficient and had the efficacy and had the studies, we our cost of advertising would be higher because we'd be competing with competitive market. So we took the Blue Ocean. Blue Ocean is a market space and a strategy where you have no competition. So we took the blue ocean strategy of our product and our science and our value proposition, and we're adding turbo boost of mass media marketing to it, right? Because think about this, ladies and gentlemen, as we scale this and you're participating, we're completely aligned. 
The field and the company is completely aligned, 90 degrees, both of us pointed the same way to acquire massive, massive number of customers. Now, let's do the math. Say over the next year, we acquire a million customers. Okay, say we acquire a million customers, right? And it's a pool. And we're marketing that pool. And say, you know, 20% of those customers buy. That means 200,000 bought that month at $60. That's an insane amount of money. That's $12 million of volume that's going to hit the comp plan that you're going to get paid on if you had all the tokens in your organization. So what happens is, is you get this additional stable income added to your business. So this is the, for the first time, this is a done for you component of network marketing done for you. Everything else you got to do yourself. This Terry and the marketing team are going to do it for you. Terry, you want to talk about how this differentiates us from everything else you've ever done? Oh, absolutely, Jay. It levels the playing field. It gives everybody an equal opportunity. Uh, you know, in, in once, uh, w w like you said, uh, this isn't to replace uh, our other channels, okay, the direct selling channel, is to come alongside and help you grow your business, is to create another revenue stream for you. And so uh, this tokenization, Jay, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, it's going to revolutionize this industry, like you said. And the real key is that brand awareness and the retail pull through and the win back. You're going to have people that maybe haven't ordered in several months. They're going to see us on TV or hear us on the radio and it might be a patch they've never tried before and you're going to win them back. Well, you get full credit for that. That that sale that goes to you because they're existing customers. So at the end of the day, Jay, uh, this really is like nothing I've ever seen before. Terry, listen, you've been doing this in the media space for 30 plus years, man. And it's absolutely critical that, hey, ladies and gentlemen, listen, Terry's very humble in this. But he's been working so hard on the media side, the right media buyers, the right approach, how we scale, all those different things. And trust me, when we scale this thing to a million dollars a week, you're not going to be able to go anywhere without hearing about it or seeing about it, right? And it's going to change the entire trajectory of how network marketing is done. Because right now, network marketing, we all agree, right? There's a lot of change going on and, and people are trying to bring in affiliate marketing to network marketing and people are trying to bring in some other things and one place. And all these different things are happening. Why? Because the traditional isn't working. That's why, Terry, right? The same Absolutely. old, same old isn't working. So now you have to figure out how are we going to scale this? How are we going to give our field the best chance at sustainability, because ladies and gentlemen, sustainability is the key. I'm building this thing for five generations. Right? I'm building it for five generations. What does that mean? That means at least 150 years. <laughs> right? It means at least, and so to do it, we have to learn from companies that have been around for 100 plus years. How do they approach their customer base? How do they approach marketing? How do they approach creative? Right. But the way to do it the right way is, I believe, is in a collaborative way. The field and the company maximizing their ability to reach a maximum number of people. That's why this is, works. And that's why it's going to succeed. So I'm going to stop sharing that and I'm going to share some. <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to share some. Uh, I'm going to share some opportunity highlights with you if you give me a minute here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I've been working on this project for 15 years, more than that now, coming up to 16, 17 years. I've invested time, energy, money, resources, almost immeasurable. And I also see the time and energy and resources that you're putting into it. Right. So we have a choice to make. Either we can build it the right way for the long run, or we can build it for the short run 
and take what we can get and leave. But I'm convinced, I know, but it's beyond belief. It's, it's a conviction beyond belief that what we have with our products and our technology is a generational leap forward in helping people live a better life. And we need to think of ways that are equally inventive, equally innovative, and equally supportive of what we're doing together. I'm not going to introduce programs that give the field anxiety. I can't be about health and wellness and give you stress. <laughs> that's, not, that's not the plan here. The plan is, if you've trusted me on this, trust me, I've thought this true all the way through to the last percentile of this thing. And my calculations are conservative. Our expectations are measured. That this is a long-term solution. Why? Why? Because if we take a look at network marketing, and I'm a student of business, I'm not your typical network marketing owner or anything like that, right? I come from technology space. We're bringing innovation to the market was what we did and finding the right price point and finding ways to market it and, and scale it. I've worked in young startups. I've worked at Fortune 500 companies. So my background, the team at corporate, we got very diverse backgrounds in terms of bringing these solutions to market. But there's nothing as pure as network marketing if it's done the right way. And so network marketing's been hitting some beachhead headwinds, right, Terry? Yes. And what it needs is a new, new way of doing business. Not to take away what we know works, not to take away the power of the field, not to take away your ability to market those things, but give you additional revenue streams based on the most reliable income stream, which is customer revenue. Trust me, it's what every brand in the world that's worth anything is built on. And we're going to build it together, right? So let me show you a peak and illustrative purposes of the economic model that I think we can share with each other, okay? <clears throat> Illustration purposes only, I have to write that there. So if you follow me along here very carefully, so if, if we're taking four token right here, if you see where I'm highlighted right here, four tokens a month. So we're, we're, we're so the fields, I'm, I'm in the field, I got a team. In this example, I got a team of 39 people. Okay, I'm gonna start small. I got a team of 39 people and myself and everybody in my team is going to start and we're going to take four tokens a month. $25 a token is an arbitrary number. I'm going to put $100 into the marketing cost of the token marketing cost. And I'm going to assume that only 10% of the customer base is going to buy any month. Okay. Only 10% is going to buy any month. And I got a team of 39 people. So that means at the end of the year, I put $1,200 into this program. So this is what happens. This is the geometric progression of how this adds up and trickle up economics of network marketing works for you. <clears throat> it doesn't work without network marketing, gang, but I'm going to start at 39. Then I'm going to go higher and higher. You're going to see how this exponentially goes bananas. So the first month, you put $100 in, your tokens pay you $28. For the next month, you put $100 in, they pay you $60. You still have the tokens from before, so they're accumulating, right? Every month, you're adding four, you're adding four. Third month, you only got 39 people. That means you haven't added anybody. You only got 30. Your whole world is 39 people, okay? That's it, Terry. No more. We're right out of people. Only 39 on your team, all taking a token, okay? Month four, you put $100 in. You made 126 And the next month, you make 159 Then you made 191 You made 224 and You made 290 at a 10% conversion rate, not a 12%, not a 15%, not a 20%. So the end of the year, you put $1,200 in marketing costs, which is a write-off, but you're going to get paid out at about $2,500 on that $1,200 marketing spend. Bingo. You win. Okay? But now look what happens when you got a little bigger team. So 
So I'm just saying, hey, I got three people on my first level, nine, then 27, 81. I'm just adding three by three, right? All the way through. And I got 81 more people. And I got 120 people on my team. Ladies and gentlemen, look at what happens. At the end of the year, you put still put $1,200 in. You didn't put anything extra in. And you made $5,400 in the year. The last month, you're making $836 on the $100 marketing spend. See how this works? And then we're going to go to the, say your team is a little bit more mature. Say you got 363 people in your organization. You're always contributing that $100 a month. But look, right out of the gate, you're at 177. The last month, you're putting $100 in, making 2180 on that month. For the year, the $1,200 can generate $14,000 in revenue. Marketing spend of $1,200, income of $14,000. And all of this income is only based on product sales. We're seeing only 10% of the, of, the, of the pool is going to buy. 10%. That's it. 10%. Not 15%. Not 20%. No, I'm being so conservative because I don't want to paint some pictures that are not realistic. At 10%, everybody wins. Okay? Suppose you got a little bit bigger team. Okay? And then the economics change again. And the economics change again. Right? You're still putting $100 in. Right? And now you're making $4,200 a month. And this is all based on customer revenue where all you did was contribute to the marketing cost. And this will grow and accumulate and grow and accumulate and grow and accumulate. But now, this is the other thing that happens. We also know that we have to do smart ship. So we got to add the smart ship because to, to participate, you got to have your smart ship in. And all of a sudden, you got your smart ship income that's coming in as well. Right? So whether you got a thousand people or 363 people or 120 people, you win. Consistently win. And the co op program pays again and again and again and again. And this co op income is the big stabilizer, Lisa. It's, it's the stabilizing fourth leg on the table that we're serving in our opportunity. That's how this grows. That's why this is so powerful. That's why this is unduplicatable. I stop sharing that. Terry, I've never seen anything like it. Well, <clears throat> Jay, I haven't either. And I got to tell you, if you look at it, just step back as a pure business perspective, okay? We know the nature of network marketing. Uh, people tend to be more opportunity driven, right? So what this does is it creates a greater asset value of your super patch business. Why is that? Uh, well, let's take number one, customers. Customers are less likely to migrate uh, you know, from one company to the next. Uh, if they love the products, they're getting the results they want, they stay with that company. They're loyal to the brand. Okay, but let's take the associate side of it. If they've got this stable customer revenue, they're more likely to stay on their smart delivery. They're more likely to stay with the company because of that stability that the customers bring because they're only interested in the, the wellness benefits and the benefits of the Super Patch products. So uh, this right. is like nothing I've ever seen, Jay. I have to give you full credit. Brother, you came up with this tokenization strategy. It's absolutely brilliant. And we are going to change the face of this industry. And I'm glad to be a part of it. Terry, listen, it's for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, this, you know, people say, why are you doing the co-op program? Because it's needed. Because if we want a stable, scalable, reliable business that you're all building. So listen, you're all putting time, energy, money into this. Right? It's not for a week, a, week, a month, a year, right? I think, I think we'll all agree that you want to build something that lasts. We're building a house. I don't want a house for a year or five years. If I'm going to custom build a house, I'm going to blueprint it out. And I'm going to add it brick by brick. You want it to last. I want it to last. You know, 16 years of my life, untold millions of dollars of investment to get it to this point. It's got to be milled to last because the, what we're serving and what we're doing is so important. So we have to bring everything to bear that we can from a business model standpoint 
and a team improvement standpoint and empowering the field and giving the field to do it. So the, for the first time, ladies and gentlemen, you know, for a long time, they said, well, the company's job was to make the product, ship the product and pay the commissions. That's what they kept telling me, Terry. Right. And That's I right. said, yeah, but if the, if, but if we can help the field sell more product, why wouldn't we do that? If we could help the field earn more money, why shouldn't we do that? Especially if we have the resources and the expertise to do it, right? Ladies and gentlemen, the more that we control together, the more success we're going to have. And what I want for all of you within five years, ladies and gentlemen, this is my goal. This is my dream. This is my hope. This is what I'm aiming for. Five years, five million customers, $5 billion in revenue, set for five generations. That's the plan. That's the plan. Jay, you mentioned building a house. Look at that like building your business. You can build a house with a hammer and a handsaw, right? <laughs> but what we're giving you is power tools. Yes, this is yes. another tool. This is a power tool to help you build your business faster, stronger, more efficiently. And so it really is, once you really begin to see this, come to fruition and you get to see the results of of this tokenization this capex program you're going to understand why this is a definite market advantage and um we're gonna we're gonna change countless lives together brother Terry, listen this ladies and gentlemen this is the cheat code every company's got a comp plan every company's got their own little thing we got seven massive market advantages and then we have a capex program all our job is at Cooper, like we study the market we study the competitive landscape there's nothing like it right <clears throat> people can put lipstick on pigs and do all the other stuff that they want to do but it's not this it's not this and the reason we're doing it is that we're going to do it together that's what makes it special that's what makes it special that we're going to do it together. We're going to win together, right? So what's the key? Build your team. Get them on the CapEx. It's going to add more money to everybody's check. That's the key. We're going to get more customers. We're going to serve more people. We're going to have bigger brand awareness. And we're going to dominate. We're going to dominate this industry. This industry doesn't even know what it's headed for because it can't compete. It's like they can't even compete. Terry, it's unfair. It's like if you play video games, my son plays video games. He used to have these cheat codes. He'd punch it in and he just, you know, kick my butt on the video game. I'm like, how are you doing all these things? Then my daughter told me that daddy gillian has got a cheat code. I'm like, okay, so this is your cheat code, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to cheat. We're going to win. We're going to dominate because there's no competition. There's no competition for our product. Number one, there's no competition for our product. There's no competition for our technology. There is no competition for what we're offering the world. And now there is no competition and the way we serve the field in terms of the opportunity to maximize customer revenue is nothing comparable. So with that, I leave you. Listen, when you hear that ad, I can't wait for the big smile on your face because you know, listen, if you're in the CapEx program and you're participating, every time somebody buys something, you're going to get paid. Every time somebody buys something, you're going to get paid. Somebody buys something from Times Square, you're getting paid. Somebody buys something from radio, you're going to get paid. Somebody buys something from a clickety-click on the, on the website, you're going to get paid. Somebody buys something from TV, <clears throat> you're going to get paid. That's the promise. That's how we win. Terry, thanks for your support as always. Good evening, everyone. Hope to see you all. Bye, later. everyone. God bless. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye for now.